everybody, and welcome to WSCS basketball. As tonight, we're at Jack Schneider Stadium, or a court, I guess you could say, at the uh, University of Sheboygan Center, where the Wombats of Sheboygan County are going to host the Silver Lake Lakers. Hello, everybody. My name is Chris Wright, and joining me tonight is nobody. Unfortunately, my partner, Ben Van Vagel, who is substituting for Mike Martin, uh, texted me about noon today and uh, was under the weather, so I guess I'll be flying solo. We might have some people come in. Uh, I know the athletic director here at UW Sheboygan, Penny Mar Maletsky, might sub in here and talk a little bit, which might help me out a little bit, but otherwise I'm solo. If you don't want to know where Mike Martin is, he's enjoying the sun of of Arizona and uh, would probably uh, not like a day like today where it's 40 and cloudy and I think he would rather have Arizona instead. But let's talk a little bit about basketball here. This is our first game of the season on WSCS. And for UW Sheboygan, it's actually their second ball game. The other day they defeated Bryan and Stratton by a score of 78 to 73 which uh, was a nice way to get started. It was a home game for them. Uh, they had a couple of players in double figures, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but it was a nice way for Coach Greenwood to get his squad off to a, star a good start. Leading scorer the other night was Alex Antoni. He had 19 points, and Nate Circuitich, Followed up with the scoring with 15 points that game. Uh, look for Sheboygan to uh, establish himself a little bit here at, at the, with the home court before their conference play starts taking over later in the season. Other players for the Wombats you might be interested in and may have heard names of. We have Julian Jones. Uh, he'll be wearing number 23. Julian, of course, was a member of the state tournament team along with Nate Circuitich at Sheboygan North High School. From Sheboygan South, we have a newcomer this year, someone uh, Marty and I love to watch, Dylan Martin. Dylan Martin is a 6'8 freshman, and uh, we always liked his hustle and how he controlled the paint in the FRCC. We'll see how he does at this level. Uh, Dylan will be wearing number 35. Uh, so those are a couple probably familiar names that you, you might be a little bit used to out here. For those of you that aren't used to UW Sheboygan basketball, uh, here at the center, it's traditionally a two-year program. You, you play here two years, and if you're good enough to play, you then move on to a bigger college, such as an Oshkosh or a Ripon or something like that. So it's kind of like a building ground uh, for those type levels, and it gives kids an opportunity to continue their basketball future, uh, even though uh, they can't, you know, like I said, necessarily go someplace else, but they can give, the center gives them an opportunity to do that. And as looking at the roster, it's grown quite a bit. Uh, I remember coming out here not too long ago, and there was only about seven or eight kids on the one bat squad, and this year, they list 11. Well. I'm going to step away for a moment, and when we return, we'll have the starting lineup for tonight's ball game. Give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov.
They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. Food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate from ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables. And cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy! And refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Home Food Safe. the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. The Lakers were just introduced. Now here comes your local UW Sheboygan Wombats. Number two is Brett Ebers from Oostburg. Alex Strage comes from Howard Grove. There's Julian, we've mentioned him in the opening. Big Nate Serkatich, former student of mine. And in the middle is Alice Antoni, 6'8" second year player out of Sheboygan Falls. Uh, when you look at the uh, Silver Lake College, they just started their basketball program not too long ago. And uh, looking at their roster, they're made up of majority of kids from all over the country and all over the world. And uh, we'll introduce you to them as we go along here. Tony is going to jump against number 12. That's Nick Garcia. He comes from Arizona. And here we go. And the Wombats win the tip. Going left to right on your screen. Get it right into uh, Nate Circuitage. And this is a shot, but a nice put back there by Antonio on a Nice little rebound there. Antonio, Antonio also had nine rebounds the other day. There's a nice pivot move there. And a miss by Garcia.
Wombat swinging around that Ebers. There's a dump down to the big fellow and UW gonna try, as you can see, take advantage of their height. The two easy baskets in the paint gives them an early 4-2 lead. Just under a minute of play here. There's a three-point attempt and make there by Taylor Harper. Harper from Kentucky. There's a turnover by the uh, Wombats. Derek Domino is the coach of the Silver Lake College Lakers. He brought 16 guys up on his uh, roster tonight. See how many of those guys get into action. There's a dribble drive into the paint and a miss there by Harper. Nice rebound there by Jones. Craigie, we mentioned him. Whoa, the big fellow from deep and a miss. And I think we're gonna get our first foul of the ball game. that foul on Ebers. 4-3, 18-20. Left in the first half of action. The drive by Cook. Cook's a little short on that. Rebound by Turkitich. Dump it down to the big fella. Nice offensive rebound by Jones. It puts it back up and scores. Here you see the replay. Play. Julian All, he's been a good athlete. Off the tramp trampoline there, puts it back in, and the foul. First team foul against Silver Lake. And Julian finishes the uh, free throw up in the three point play for him. Duckworth, one of the local kids, number one. He's from Wisconsin Lutheran. I'm gonna call a foul here. Nick Garcia on the illegal picker screen. A little pressure put on by the Lakers. There's Evers, he's a first year player from Oostburg. He wears number two. Turkitage, dump down. Should be automatic, and it is. Three for three so far for Alex Antoni. And a 9-3 lead for UW Sheboygan. Going to call walk there. First turnover against, well, I guess we'll call it the second turnover against the Lakers. And into the lineup comes Quinton Bodo. Excuse me, Quinton Bodine. Quinton played at North last year. Did not play as a junior at North, but had an excellent year last year. One of those kids that you kind of forget about, but hustles all over the floor. Then seems to get a bunch of points later on. Nathan dribble drives, shoots up an air ball. He's 0 for 4. And on the breakout comes the Lakers. And right in the Sarah's wheelhouse there for the camera. Good that she's stuck in there on the foul. Second team foul against the Wombats. His free throw is up and good. It's at 9 to 4. 16.55 left. And he's 2 for 2 on his trip. Much more pressure that time by the Lakers. No problem there for the Wombats getting across midcourt. court. 
W. Sheboygan kind of probing there. Unfortunately, Alex threw that one away. Second turnover for the Wombats. Silver Lake just one of three so far from, excuse me, one of four from the floor so far tonight. Could have been a travel. That's a miss on the three-point attempt there by Corey Lloyd. Mentioned before, Alex is a really good athlete at Howard Grove. Nice dump down, automatic. Alex Antoni is four for four from the floor. Here you're gonna see it on replay, dump it. Basket, they have, can't stop that. But on the counter on the other end, Nick Garcia with a nice left-handed four-footer puts it in, cut the lead to four. Here's Quentin Bodoin. Q, they used to call him out at uh, North, obviously. Circuitich on another miss. And another bucket. Circuitage 0 for 5, but fortunately Antonio's 5 for 5. There's a steal that time. On the breakout, Lakers trying to set things out. Good decision there. Alex, here's a swing to Jones. Screen by Circuitage. Jump stop by Jones. Not going to fall for him, though. Nice take that time, and a miss by Lloyd. Jones, pushing. Quinton, drive, kick, nice play, bingo. Here you'll see the kick and drive by Q, and a three-pointer in there. Another miss by the Lakers. Not shooting so well here in Sheboygan to start with. Alex makes another one. There's no answer for it. And because of that, we're going to have a timeout on the floor. It's going to be a full timeout. With that, we're going to take a break with... UW Sheboygan up 18 7. Got a quarter? Welcome back to Jack Schneider's court here at UW Sheboygan. The Wombats with a 18 to 7 lead. Led so far by Alex Antoni, who is six for six from the floor. 12 points. And really, the Lakers have no answer to him underneath. The Lakers are going to bring in Daniel McDermott. The 6'6 kid from Gilbert, Arizona. A couple Arizona kids on the team. As a matter of fact, there's four. Dylan Martin's into the game. Now number 35. Also in the game is Fitz Mazzella. He played just down the street at at uh, Sheboygan Lutheran. He's a good three-point shooter at times. I think we're gonna get a turnover. Oh! Shot clock was reset there, so we gotta fix it. We're gonna fix the shot clock. We're gonna put it at 
15 seconds. I thought that it was going to go over to the Lakers as well, so I understand that young man making that mistake. This here is Taylor Harper. He comes from Lexington, Kentucky. They got a pretty good ball club down there. There's a travel. A lot of dribbling, a lot of dribbling, and a turnover, can't have that. And an easy breakaway basket for Marcellus Duckworth. We mentioned he's one of the local kids, Wisconsin Lutheran. A lot of dribbling again. It's not always the guy who's dribbling, the other guy's got to get open as well. They're looking inside for circuitage. It's a decision by Martins not to force the pass here we're going to get it into Dylan he's tough in there misses it gets his own rebound working on stats there and puts in a bucket to give the Wombats a 20 to 9 lead they're going to get that foul on Q there that's the 13 foul on UW Sheboygan Silver Lake penetrating, kind of whips it up there. Duckworth looking for a foul, he's not going to get it. And then Al Santoni comes in and gives Nathan Circuitage a break. The defense is there inside, but leaves the outside open, and there's a miss that time by Freddie Cook. I believe there's going to be a, no, but it's just going to go over to the Wombats. Checking into the game is David Hughes. Hughes comes from Carbondale, Illinois. Six-two kid. And Silver Lake continuing to put a little token pressure, but not really anything too strong. Montezellos drives, but he can't get it to fall on the leaner there, and a nice drive there, but Montezuma gets the uh, block, but unfortunately can't gobble up the rebound. There's a nice swing, screen by Martins, Martins rolls, nothing there, good choice there. Oh, he can't get it to fall. Nice attempt there by Montezella. And on the breakout, a basket for Lakers. And that's how the uh, Lakers have been scoring is on their fast break, beating the uh, Wombats back down the floor. So early on here, it seems to be a size versus speed ball game. with the Wombats using their big fellas, Alex Antoni and Nate Circuitage and Dylan Martins all going above 6'8". And the Lakers countering with their quickness with uh, Duckworth and Hughes. <laughs> 20 to 13, we have 11.45 left in the first half. Chris Wright, I'm going to go solo today. Unfortunately, my partner got sick. Let me know at noon today. Hopes to be with me in a couple weeks when we're back there. And Quinton Bodine scores there. And a nice layup. Fall away jumper is missed that time by Harper. Swinging it, dumping it, money. 
absolutely money tonight. Seven for seven, Alex and Tony. So far, everything in the paint. Swing out to Hughes. Ten seconds on the clock, drive. Nowhere to go in the land of the Giants there. Duckworth driving it deep in there, got his own rebound. Goes back up and this time gets fouled and that'll be foul they're gonna call on Dylan Martin. Julian Jones checking back into the lineup for Q. Q with two points so far. As a matter of fact, four Wombats have got one basket and the other seven all belong to uh, Antoni. And a two for two trip there for Duckworth. Julian swings it. There goes the perfect night as uh, Alex tries a three-pointer. No place to go for Craig. Good defense there by the Wombats. 24-19, almost halfway through the uh, first half here. Coach Greenwood asking his players to set it up. There's our screen and roll. A little bumping going on. A little force there, but just couldn't get it to go. And here come the Lakers on the bus out, but this time they turn it over as the Wombats recover quickly on defense. Swinging it out. That's a little better. And ever since that three-pointer went up, Alex can't get anything to flow. A lot of contact. Kick out here for Hughes for three. Little long on it. And Tony with the rebound. This is Ebers, number two from Oostberg. Gregory on the drive, puts it up, no good. We're gonna get a late call here. I think we're gonna get a push on Freddie Cook. Could just be the second and third free throw attempts for the Wombats here. 8.59 left. Circuit to Jen, Martin's out. Bedoin. In, Evers out. Ugh. One out of two trip. 25-15, 8.56 left in the first half. UW Sheboygan versus Silver Lake Lakers. That's Lloyd, kicks it over here to Harper. Harper on the drive. Tried to get it down into Hughes, but again, there's no place for Hughes with all the tall timbers there. And then a three-pointer on the rebound by Cook. Second three-pointer, there you see it on the replay. Second three-pointer for the Lakers this evening. Julian Jones, drive, penetrate. Ugh! Basket wouldn't want it. Just wouldn't want it. Good drive there by Jones using his speed. And good speed shown here by Cook. And a three-point attempt by Harper. No good. Is it 
Drive penetration. Oh, and they're going to get a foul. I think they're going to call Benjamin Sweet on that foul. Back in now. And another one of two trips there. They call Dylan Martins on the push. I think that's going to be Dylan's second foul of the game. his feet that time and nowhere for him to throw the, the ball. They have five turnovers so far for the Silver Lake Lakers. Evers being hounded by Harper over the queue. Comes down to Antone. Now it's Antone, but he's going to be called for the travel. Also the fifth turn, turnover on the Wombats. So they're even there, but the scoreboard is 26 to 18 in favor of UW Sheboygan. From the elbow, Harper to Hughes, to Cook, back to Hughes. This is Lloyd. No movement right now by Silver Lake, so up goes the shot by Lloyd, and it's missed. Swing to the outside. Oh, he's wide open, and he's right there. Much better job. Good release there by Alex and Tony. And when he released, caught the ball, went to the basket, was bumped. Didn't make the basket, but going to get a couple of free throws. Checking into the game is Kimbo Harris, another young man from Kentucky. And two missed free throws there by Antonio. 26 18, six and a half minutes to go. Second ball game for UW Sheboygan. They're 1 0. Could have called a travel there on Harris, but they didn't. And instead, Lloyd turns it over. Montezello probing. Evers, that's deep by Nate. Circuitage yet to score today. I think we're gonna another Turnover on the Lakers. Coming in the game, Trevor Antilla, Sheboygan South graduate. He's wearing number 10. Lots of pressure being applied this time by the Lakers. It is Jones. Gets it back to Evers. So again, no traps or anything, just a token pressure. And you got to call that. That's a hand check. That's the seventh team foul on the Lakers. 
Which will put Evers in a one and one. Makes the first, gets a chance for the second. Been a bit of a struggle for UW today at the line. There's a basket that time by Hughes. All of a sudden it's 27 to 20. Gonna call a foul on 10. Until that time on the illegal screen. He's gotta get there earlier. Now touch your screen a little earlier. It's an easy call for the officials when you run up there and give a screen. Chance to cut the deficit to five, 27-20. 5-10 left. That's not going to go there for Harper. And a rebound by Ebers. Montezella. Tough pass there. And a roll. 10 seconds on the clock. That's just another bad pass. All of a sudden the Wombats are struggling offensively and fortunately a turnover by Silver Lake no damage gotten a little sloppy here the last couple minutes there's another turnover and a breakaway and a quick break basket for the Lakers, and with that, it's going to be a timeout for Sheboygan. Well, at the 414 mark of the first half, we're going to take a break here. 27 22, Sheboygan. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... Welcome back to UW Sheboygan, where the Wombats currently lead Silver Lake College, 27 to 22. The offense has kind of gone stagnant for the, the Wombats. They had built a double-digit lead earlier in the half. Our first basketball game of the season. Mike Martin is down in Arizona enjoying the sun and as mentioned a couple times, his partner today got sick over the weekend and hopefully he'll be here for our next ball game, which I believe will be out here on the, I think it's the 6th of December. Alex with a long pass there. Six seconds on the clock, good swing, four, and instead they get a turnover again. And they are mounting in a fast break. Lakers can't get the basket to fall in a break for the Wombats again. I'll tell you, a couple missed layups by Silver Lake or this game would be a lot closer and just like that at another turnover. Tenth turnover now for the Wombats. I have to say that the Lakers have done a much better job adjusting. They've kind of taken away the paint for the Wombats, and because of that, uh, UW Sheboygan is struggling to, to find some type of offense. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Dribble drive, and good for Duckworth. Marcellus Duckworth. On the layup, there you see it, kisses it off the glass, 
and in. Now it's down to 27-24. Three minutes left in the first half. Bedoin, drive, penetrate, should make that one, and he does. Good use, use of the body there by Q. Kisses it off the glass and puts it in. Three point attempt, way short. Way short that time by Harris. Julian Jones, nice athletic move by Julian. Second basket of the game, four points for him. That's a tough shot. Jones gets the rebound. Take this right to the glass and gets fouled. Alex Craigie there drives to the basket and gets a chance for a couple free throws. This will be his fifth and sixth attempt at the free throw line. So far, he's made half. throw line has not been the friend of the Wombats so far tonight. They've attempted 12. But it made just four. Need to be better than that. I'm gonna close this one out. Two minutes, two minutes left in the first half. Wombat still up by seven. So Bird Lake looking, looking. I don't know where Craig was going on that, but he did draw, draw a foul. And to get that foul on Jones, I, no, not Jones. Gonna get it, and, and Tony. Craig kind of jumped back into the defender there. There's a miss by the Lakers. They have that for their first miss. This is just their sixth free throw attempt. And they're five of six. Minute 40. Nice screen there. Poor defense there by the Lakers. Somebody's got to help, help out Craig, excuse me, Duckworth there on that. Don't run into the big fella, Alex and Tony. There's six, six Silver Lake players on the court at this time. Alex Craig, nice screen by Alex Craig. Jones on the drive and the basket. It'll be. There you see it. Nice athletic move again there by Julian. Oh, so I think I mentioned he had four points. I was wrong, he had five. He made a three point play way back in about the first two minutes of the game. And now he makes another one. So six points for Jones. Back up to a nine point lead for the Wombats. Hoping to get a stop. That's a walk. Fourth turnover on Lloyd. Tenth turnover for the Lakers overall. And Jones brings it up. Drive penetrating, oh, nice play. Jones on the basket. Back to an 11 point lead for those Wombats. 
swung out here to Cook. Drive penetration by Jacobs. And Jacobs is going to go to the line. Aaron Jacobs from Christian Life High School, located in Illinois. Evers comes into the game. Number two. First year out here at UW Sheboygan. Coach Greenwood's done a real nice job trying to recruit kids from the local area to come out and play here. Kids from Falls, North, Lutheran, South, Eastburg, Howard. 27 seconds on the game clock, 20. Three on the shot clock, so a little bit of a difference. Q dumps a nice pass. A lot of contact there. A lot of hands in on Ellis and Tony on that one. And unfortunately for him, he's going to have to Make the first to get, no, nope, they're going to give him two there. Oh, it's the 10th team foul on the Lakers. That is why. Sorry about that. He's missed his first three, though. And he got that one to fall. Back to a 10-point lead. Shot clock is off. 16 seconds in the game clock. This is Jacobs. They're going to set up some type of a play here. Jones is all over that. Jones, one of their better defenders. Another travel. Got to set your feet before you shoot. He catches it and shuffles them. So with 2.2 seconds left on the clock, Wombat's going to have one more shot at it. Q's going to have a shot. Nice job, Q. Well, he gave himself a chance. Not going to make it, but after one half of play, UW Sheboygan Wombats 37, Silver Lake Lakers 27. We'll be back in a few minutes with the second half. Kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs. Totally. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. Totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child... There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Hey! You going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection.
street, the ash trees. The emerald ash borer is an insect that's been in Wisconsin for over 10 years and it's working its way kind of north from southern Wisconsin. It's been found in Sheboygan for, for a few years now, it's been around. And the focus is for the city to try to save the ash trees before they all die. Let's, there's about 5,000 ash trees on the, on the street, between the street and the sidewalk. And just to give you a sense, there's about 20 to 23,000 trees between the street and the sidewalk. So five those 5,000 of those are ash trees. So it's important to the, for the city to not let all those trees die at the same time. So the emerald ash borer is an insect where it gets in the tree, it lays eggs, the eggs hatch and burrow under the bark and they basically suffocate the tree as they feed. Now it takes a number of years before you, you, you'll see an effect from the insect. But the important thing is when you're trying to save an ash tree is to, is to treat it with an insecticide before you, see an, before you see the tree declining. Because by the time the tree, you see the effect that the tree is dying, it, it could be too late. Sometimes it's not too late, but but many times the damage is already that's done is already done and can't be repaired. So it's more of a preventative measure that we're doing. And uh, I've been treating ash trees for about six years now. I've seen I've seen it work. I've seen the I've seen where I've treated a tree. I came back two years later, treated the same tree again, and the tree was still healthy. But maybe the neighbor the neighbor's trees that were untreated we're almost dead so I believe in it and research backs it up it's supposed to be over 96 percent effective as far as the city's plan their plan is to treat half the ash trees and remove half the ash trees because it's expensive either way you want to look at it if you want to remove them all it's a huge expense if you want to treat them all it's very expensive so a kind of compromise is to try to save half remove half over a three-year period so this year 2017 we've I've treated between 1100 and 1200 ash trees to date and over the next year and over the next two years we'll get to that 2500 mark where we've potentially saved half the trees now the city's doing a three-year treatment process where every three years we'll have to retreat if we want the tree to continue to survive. And uh, right now the insecticide that we're using, the active ingredient is MMX and benzoate. There's a number of different products that contain that. It's labeled for two years, where you, every two years you should retreat, but a lot of research is saying you can get at least three years out of it, so that's why the city's gone with the three-year plan. Well, first of all, the process of picking which trees to save and which trees not to save really stems from is the tree in a good location to begin with. So if we're only going to save half the ash trees, we want to save the ones that are in a good spot versus the ones that are not an ideal spot. So if we look for uh, medians, grass areas between the road and the sidewalk that are at least six feet wide. This one here that we're in is, is probably more like eight feet. And we want to look for spots where there's no overhead power lines that the tree's growing into or if the tree is really buckling up the sidewalk or something like that, maybe that's not an ideal tree to save. So once we determine which trees we want to save, the process is pretty simple. We, we drill into the tree with a small, about a, a little smaller than a pencil size hole, and a tree will take anywhere from four holes to, I had one this year that I had 10 holes in. So average, I would say six or seven drills, about an inch under the bark. And then those holes get filled up. You put a, an injection tee in each one of those holes. So it's all sealed. And each one of those tees is connected with a small hose, which all stems back to a bottle with, which has the insecticide in it. Now, the tree, the amount, of, the amount of insecticide that's used depends on the tree size. So the rate the city uses is a five milliliter per diameter inch of the tree. Now, diameter is measured at breast height, four and a half feet above ground. 
Okay, yeah, so this tree here is 18 inches in diameter. So 18 times five is 90 milliliters that this tree requires. So as we're going down a street, I have a guy helping me. He measures them, he records what's gonna be used. He records the address where the tree is and I get to the tree and I get to work drilling, setting it up, measuring the chemical that's going in. And once I get it all set, it's just a matter of pressurizing the container, the bottle with the in insecticide to get that insecticide to the tree. And really, it's just a, a bike pump that I'm using to pressurize and I give it about 30 pounds of pressure and that'll get the insecticide to the tree and it's up to the tree to take it in. So every tree is different. Some trees take it right in. Some trees are a little slower. Sometimes you don't get that uptake. It, it, the tree just refuses to, to suck anything up. So then you, that's a sure sign that the tree is too far gone and, and there's no point in trying to save that tree. So once I have it all set up and pressurized, it's up to the tree to take it in. And really I could increase the pressure to 40 pounds, even 50 pounds, but it, it isn't gonna make a difference how fast the tree takes it in. It, really the pressure is just getting the chemical to the tree. And once, once the, the lines, the, the hoses are all clear, so you can see the blue, the chemical is blue, you can see it going in and once those lines are all emptied out, then you can un, undo the pressure and unhook the tree and that's all that needs to be done. Now everything, when we leave a tree that we've treated, we, we got a can of blue spray paint, we put a, a dot on the street side of the tree, uh, roughly two, three feet off the ground. And that is a symbol that we've treated that ash tree that we plan on saving that ash tree. We'll also put a, a pesticide sign down that says keep off pesticide. That's something that needs to be done. It's required by the, the pesticide regulations for the state. So those signs will leave for a day and we'll pick them up the next day. But the blue dot will stay so we'll always know that that tree was treated in 2017. As far as danger to people walking by or anything like that with the, with the pesticide that we're using, the, the, caution, the word is caution on the, on the label of this insecticide, which is the lowest toxicity. Really, it's not much to worry about since it's all going right into the tree itself. There's, there's nothing gonna be on the grass or in the air or anything really to worry about as far as that goes. As soon as, as, soon as I leave the tree and, and the blue dot will stay there but nothing else will be there, that tree is, is safe to be around. Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today.
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise. And be the hero that I've always wanted to be. Living near the water, it's a dream come true for many, except when there's flooding or a hurricane. That's why people who live near lakes and rivers, by the ocean and bayside, are working with their local planners to make sure that protection from all sorts of natural disasters is part of the planning process. Learn more at planning.org. That's planning.org. Okay, so what would you bring to me? There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Hey, welcome. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Jack Schneider Court. I was just talking to Doug Johnson. Try to get him to be my partner. Uh, but for those of you who know, I'm Chris Wright. Mike Martin is currently in Arizona. Uh, taking a month away, which is nice for him now that he's retired, he and his wife. And uh, had a partner set up, but he got uh, a little bit under the weather, texting me a new today. But how about today's ball game, 37-27? Good first half for the Wombats. They shot 50% from the field. They were 14 of 28. Uh, not so good from the three-point line. They were just one of one of seven. Uh, they did commit 10 turnovers, and they really struggled at the free throw line, shooting six of 15. For the visitors from Silver Lake, which is just outside of Manitowoc. Uh, it's in Manitowoc, but it's kind of to the west side of... Uh, of the Holiday Inn and things like that. They shot just 10 of 28, 35% from the floor. They did hit two threes, however, uh, shooting 25% there. They committed 11 turnovers, but they got the job done at the stripe, seven for eight. Richard's down here now. We're having a little bit of trouble with the monitor, so he'll take care of that. Sarah's on the camera underneath the uh, basket, sucking it up there, hopefully won't get driven into, or if she has to, she will take a charge. And uh, Richard's on top. Uh, Scott's inside uh, in the truck today. Very short trip for them. It's just across the street. For those of you that don't know, the the uh, UW Sheboygan uh, kind of the uh, basis for our uh, um, station out there. So to start the second half, we're going to have the uh, Silver Lake Lakers drive in, and there's uh, Taylor Harper. He starts off the ball second half here with a turnover. 12th turnover for those Lakers. Here's Nathan Circuitage yet to get on the scoreboard so far. First half scoring for uh, the Wombats was led by Alex and Tony. He had 15. There's a drive penetration deep that time for Lloyd. Kick out for a three and miss there by Marcellus Duckworth. Julian Jones, Sheboygan North, Brad, and inside to Alex Antoni who drew a lot of company underneath the basket, but they do get a foul, I believe. No, yes, no. Yes, they do. Call a foul on Nick Garcia. Circuitage for three. Bingo. Finally gets one to go. He was 0 of 6 in the first half from the floor. Deep shot and penetration and good there for Duckworth. Ten points for Duckworth so far. Oh, and 
This time Antonio gets blocked underneath there. Ever since he took that three pointer way back in the first half, he hasn't made any. He hit his first seven. An offensive foul this time. And that one also is on Garcia. So just like that, Garcia has picked up a couple of fouls here, giving him three for the ball game. 18-14 left. Jones almost got by Harper. Harper turned his head there. Greg. Cirkotic feeling it. No good. He misses that one. And a turnover again. Not a good start for the Lakers. Greg drives. Puts it up and in. No. Circuited. Or excuse me, Antoni. No. And there's a basket and a foul. We've seen this before. Julian Jones with the basket. And a chance for a three-point play. And just like that. The lead is up to 13 points. Garcia picks up his third foul of the half, fourth in the game, and he's going to find some time on the bench. And Julian hits his third three-point play of the game. He's up to 11 now. It's Freddie Cook, another miss. Another rebound for Jones. So two turnovers and a one for three start from the floor for Silver Lake. Ebers dumps it down to the big fella with a reversal and a bailout there. Alex Antoni, 6'8", former Falcon. Fouls Falcon, there you see the replay by big number 33. Led the team in scoring in their opening game against Bryant Stratton. 19 points, 9 rebounds. It's off to another good start here tonight. CW will be back here against the Concordia JVs on November 27th and then against Manitowoc on the 2nd of December. I don't remember if we're here on the 2nd of December or the 6th of December, but we are back here for another in there. It's 44-29. Jumper made that time by Duckworth. He's now up to 14 points. Greg, no good. Rebound and outlet by Duckworth. And a runner there by McDermott. He misses. Julian kicks it out. A miss. This is where Silver Lake did very well when they pushed the ball in the first half. But I'll tell you, the Wombats have really responded getting back on D since an early timeout by Coach Greenwood in that first half to remind his fellas you got to get back on D against this quicker Silver Lake team. Tony's struggling now. Like I said, he made his first seven, but now he's missed his last six. 44-31 here at UW Sheboygan. 15-35 left. I'm Chris Wright. I'm going to go solo tonight. I got a lot of support in the truck. And, uh, Richard and Sarah here. Call a foul there on Ebers on the reach. Second 
team foul, or is it the first team foul? First team foul on the Wombats here in the second half. Four ready for the Lakers. Sandra McDermott, swing pass. Good recovery by Ebers there. He's a wide open shot there for uh, Lloyd, but he's gonna miss that one. This is Ebers looking. Shoots it and scores. For Ebers, that's just his first shot attempt today. That gives him a couple of points to go, our basket to go along with that free throw he made earlier in the first half. Drive penetration in and good for Duckworth. You got to figure out what to do with him. He's six of ten from the floor. Dylan Martin hustles down there. A little frustration shown by Taylor Harper. Because people are getting back on D. And because Harper was mad at his teammates, he cuts in four. So this is going to be a couple of free throws. First, they're going to have Circuited shoot the free throw here. I don't know if this is the, I think this is the regular one, and he makes one. Circuited makes both free throws. It's nice when you can have a six foot eight guy shooting free throws, and now Martins is going to shoot the regular free throws. and. The Lakers are going to come back in, and now it's a 15-point deficit for the Lakers. And good start here by the Wombats. And for as much as the Wombats struggled in the first half from the free throw line, they are right on target here in the second. Six of 15 in the first half. But they've made bleh, uh, almost all of them here in the second. Six of seven in the free throw line. 16 point lead for your local Sheboygan squad here. And there's Duckworth keeping them around. Only Laker with a basket here in the second half. 14, 15 left in the second half. Here's Ebers. There's a swing over to Julian Jones for three. No. And Jones' first three point attempt tonight. Three point attempt that time by Duckworth is way off. Silver Lake, just two of 11 from three-point range this evening. Neither team's really made any big baskets from out there. The uh, Wombats only have two themselves. There was a miss as well. Wholesale substitutions for the Wombats in the game is Quentin Bedoin. He's number four, played at North last year. Vinny Monticello is number three. He is a player from Sheboygan Lutheran. And finally, somebody besides, and there you can see it rain. Corey Lloyd bangs in a three. First basket for anyone not named Duckworth for Silver Lake. Doyne got that basket. That was a nice play. And right back down the court comes the Lakers. 13 minutes left. Second half. Three point again. Attempt. That one was kind of forced there. 
and not put in by Lloyd. This is Q. Sneak around there. Tough turnover for the Wombats. That time, Corey Lloyd from Dutch Fork, South Carolina, forces that foul. Just the second team foul against the Wombats. Lloyd will be shooting two. Seven team fouls against the Lakers. Bonus time the rest of the way for the Wombats. And a timeout on the floor. It's going to be a full timeout. With that, we're going to take a break. UW Sheboygan up 13. We'll be right back. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Do you A, try to fix it? I could never have that. B, work with what you've got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, baby. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Welcome back to UW Sheboygan, where UW Sheboygan Wombats lead the Silver Lake Lakers 51 to 38. Wombats shooting just 28% in the second half, but extended the lead because they've made six free throws, six of their seven free throws here. 37 27 at half. Second free throw attempt is up and good for Lloyd. Lloyd now with four points for the Silver Lake Lakers. Here's Julie Jones, drive penetrate. Uses that body but can't get it to go. Here comes Silver Lake on a bust out. This is what they want to do is kind of make the pace a lot quicker. Almost a steal by Jones. There's that Duckworth again. His fifth basket of the uh, second half. 20 points in the game for Marcellus Duckworth. We're at the 12-minute mark for the second half. This is Montezella. Dumping it down. Money in the bank. That's something that the Wombats did a lot of in the first half, is getting it down there to Alex Antoni. They've Really struggled to get the ball there because of the defensive adjustments by the Lakers, but that time a good pin on Antoni's defender there gets the basket and a chance to make the three-point play. And he does. Twenty points now for Antoni as well. Him and Duckworth both with twenty. Here's Duckworth kick out. Duckworth's going to need some help. And again, another miss. Everybody in the park for the Silver Lake Lakers have missed the basket except for one by Lloyd. All the other baskets have come from Duckworth. And Circuitage for three. He misses. And a break there on a breakaway. Fourth turnover on Silver Lake in the second half. 15th in the game. A lot. Montezella. Greg. There's Montezella. We know he can make that three-pointer. His first one to go. Saw that a lot over there. Oh, ooh, I don't know about that call. That I just see if you slow that down a little bit. I think it looked like a travel. I mean, I understand why he called it, but I don't think he did shuffle his feet. I think he just pivoted. 
It looked like it was at first. I thought it was a travel too. Anyways, same spot. Oh, can't get it to go. Q with a nice tip over there. Good job. That was all on Q there, but a miss and a breakaway. And another miss. Struggling from the floor is Silver Lake here in the second half. Bedoin right to the rack. Just a couple of free throws here. Clinton with six points in the ball game. Duckworth five of seven for Silver Lake here in the second half. The rest of the Lakers are just one of eight. Chance to put him up by 17. Short. Seven forty one. Three pointer that time. Missed again by Sweet. He's from Oklahoma, number fourteen. Oh, and a bad turnover that time by the Wombats. And here comes Silver Lake, but. Wombats back on defense well. That's a four shot. That's not going to go. Nice play. First basket. Greg and a timeout for, for the uh, Silver Lake Lakers. And with that timeout, it's gonna be a full timeout. We'll take a quick break. 59-41, Sheboygan. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who wants to care of you. We're back at UW Sheboygan. And the Wombats lead by 18. Second home game for the Wombats, as we mentioned before. Mentioned they'll be out here in a week, taking on the Concordia JVs. Wombats had a nice season last year. TJ Pitch graduated, set a school record here for points and uh, was a player of the year in the conference. Uh, coach Greenwood was the coach of the year last year. Happened to have a repeat performance a year ago. And again, another fourth by Silver Lake. And they just can't get anything going on offense. Circuited. Great. No good. Rebound by Jacob. Aaron Jacob. Number 10. The drive penetration. Kind of a crazy pass, though. There's a shot and a score for David Hughes. Hughes now with six, seven points. And Julian Jones by penetrating. Circuitage for three, bingo. Missed his first three threes, but uh, it's two of four here in the second half. There's a lot of contact.
Martins with good positioning there, but draw the charge. But instead it went against him. That'll be Dylan's fourth foul. And uh, not the kind of night Dylan would like to have too many fouls and uh, just three points. That was a tough luck. the Wombats back, dumped down. Oh, he must have hooked him. Must have hooked him there. He looked okay at first. Seven fifty-nine left, ball game. Wombats comfortably up by 17. See if they can stop the last little push here. The Silver Lake. Here's the Red Hot Duckworth, but he's missed now. Official timeout for. Trying to push. I don't know why they didn't take that shot. We mentioned early in the game the Lakers have players from all over the country. And there's a three pointer by one of those kids. And you see it go down. Bam. Taylor Harper from Kentucky with three. He's got six points now in the ball game. All three pointers. Montezella, no. And good hustle back on the other side by Vinny. Vinny just one of six from the floor. Julian Jones checks back in. Jones with 11 tonight. Three three-point plays, baskets and fouls. The lead is 14. Going on Circuitage. Circuitage is second, or excuse me, an honorable mention. Oh no, that was Antoni. Call foul on him. That'll be his third. I was going to say Nathan Circuitage on the other side, number 31, an honorable mention, all conference player a season ago. When I had Nathan, he was a lot smaller. Well, he was tall, but now well, he's grown up and real strong. Bingo, bango, holy cow. Back-to-back -back threes by Harper, and all of a sudden it's 11 a point game. Jones on the dribble drive, spin move. Ooh, that could have been a travel. Jones gets another shot at it, but uh, gets taken away from him. Uh-oh, don't want to foul here, he doesn't. Coach Greenwood calls timeout here. It's going to be a full timeout. Sixty-two fifty-three. Nice crowd here tonight. Very nice crowd. Like I mentioned earlier, remember when Marty and I would come out here and they'd have about eight players and then a couple kids would be either transfer or ineligible and they'd have to close the program. Coach Greenwood has really turned it around here and um, I'd say there's a good 100 people on the side of 
UW Sheboygan here supporting it. We have the Mantuoc Radio here as well for Silver Lake. One more ball game out here in a couple weeks, and then we start with our north and south. We're going to have Kohler this season, Christian, a couple games out at Lakeland as well. Six minutes left. Lakers going to apply some type of pressure. The pressure really hasn't bothered the Wombat all game, and here's Q with a chance. There's a lot of contact there. And uh, probably not the defense. There's the push that Silver Lake wanted. And Q has a chance for a couple of free throws. The uh, Lakers are over the limit of 10. So this will be two. Plus, I believe it was a shooting foul anyways, and he misses the first. Got one to go. Eight point for Q. Long three and it's good. And all of a sudden a team that is really quiet has countered with three three pointers in the last couple minutes here to cut the deficit down to seven. I believe they were up by 17 at one time. That was a pretty scary pass. Seven on the shot clock, double team, there's a steal. They're gonna cut it to five now, and they do. Unbelievable. There you see the layup, and it's down to five. I think it was 62-47. Right to the basket, a nice strong move. Out straight, score there, you see it. No defense there, and that was a big basket. It took some of the wind out of the sails of, of Silver Lake, and there's our charge. Alex is doing it on both ends now. Basket and the offensive foul, and for right now, things have kind of Calm down a little bit, it's back to a seven point lead and the basketball for the Wombats. Richard Hartson up there shooting that shot from there. Sarah, you can see her underneath the basket. See her on the left side, taking all the risks right by that mat, down by the big fellas. And there's our money man, Alex and Tony. I like it when it's down there. Oh, and that's a big miss by Duckworth. Should have had that one. The lead now back up to nine with the ball. 4.20 left. Basket here would put it back up to double digits. It's the Wombat crowd a little, a little better. There's, there it is. Oh, and he missed it. But a reload, shot clock reloads, and a good decision there by Brett Ebers. To bring it out, Dylan Martin for this four fouls, coming up to the bench to check in. Q, clip out, short, Ebers, no, and Tony, no, 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 and a finally a hold on Hughes. Lots of chances, lots and lots of chances, but a couple free throw attempts here. It was down to a five point game. And uh, Alex Stragg made a big basket. Put him back up by seven. And Duckworth came down here and missed a buck after two. And two big free throws there by the big fella. It's 
24 points. Alex and Tony takes a breather. Dylan Martin's back in there. 11 point lead, 3-3-3 left up on the clock in the ball game. This is Duckworth, really come to life here in the second half. Long three again. Back to back threes for Lloyd. He's made three and a half as well. Get to the basket. Evers, no. Another reload. Q on a big offensive re reload. He's had, Clinton's been, a, you know, I've mentioned before that he's one of those guys you won't see a lot, but in the scorebook, even though he does have a nice eight points, but he had a couple tips on rebounds, couple offensive rebounds. Does the little things, Q. Did that last year for Coach Worth. And a couple of free throws for Dylan. Dylan now just one of five from the free throw line. Gonna have to make your free throws down the stretch. They started this second half off making their free throws cooled off a little bit after having a Rough time in the first half, just 40%. And Dylan with an over trip. Might have to take him out to get your free throw shooters in there. Down the stretch, eight point game, 244. Defense for the Wombats has been pretty tough all night, pushing out the Lakers. This is Cook. Cook is way off. Evers with the rebound. See if we can take some time off the clock. 20 on the shot clock now. No need to rush. No need to rush. Q. Dribble drive, penetrate. Gets it knocked away. They were hoping that went off Q's knee, but I don't think it did. 69, 61. Nope, 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 nope. They just changed the shot clock. Yep, eight on the shot clock, that is right. Oh, nine they're gonna go with. I thought there was eight. 208 though. They're gonna call hold. Garcia just got in the game. Garcia's going out of the game. That'll be it for Nick Garcia. 6'4 kid from Arizona. I believe that's his fifth. It is. Coming out here. Garcia finishes with just two points for the 6 4 forward. Not the night that he intended to have. Excuse me, four points. And both free throws go in for Antoni. 26 on the night. We got a timeout here, 10 point lead for UW. Just a 30 second timeout. Alex Antoni having a nice big night again. 26 of the 71 points. Julian Jones has 11. Eight for, for uh, Nate Circuitage. Nine point game for Alex Streg and uh, Quentin Bedoin. He's got eight points as well. Two minutes, two minutes left in the ball game. There's a three point attempt and it's good. David Hughes with the three, cuts it to seven. Take care of the clock and the ball. Run some clock.
Perkins is for three. And this Circuitage misses the three, but fortunately for UW, they get a fresh 30 on the long rebound off the three. Now you really got to run clock here. Buck and a half left. Wombat's lucky to get that rebound off that miss three. Changed everything again on the hustle by Antoni that time. And uh, went off a Laker. Opportunity to get this free throw here. First one was good. And the second one was good also. UW making their free throws down the stretch. Nine point game. Duckworth. Drives to the basket, and I think they're gonna get Q with a foul. It's just the sixth foul, so no bonus. No bonus opportunity, and it wasn't shooting. So, fresh shot clock, and a lead of nine. This is where your defense needs to step up. They don't allow threes. Tough three by Harper, and it's not gonna go. Nobody called out the screen there as they run into Antonio. We don't need a basket here. Good decision. We're under a minute. Basketball and a nine point lead. Coach for the Lakers calling for a foul, but instead we're gonna get a travel. Coach Greenwood asking his guys to apply a little bit of pressure to take off some time. And Duckworth is going to be flying up the floor. 45 seconds, don't foul. But you can't allow just easy baskets either. They'll get it to Circuitage. Circuitage is fouled. Now Nathan has made both his free throw attempts. He hit the two technicals. They have two here. Twenty-four points for Duckworth, who made that last layup for the Lakers. Makes the first. Wants to get himself into double figures. Nate. And he does. All free th four free throws, too, made by Nathan. Back to a nine point lead. 37 seconds left. Duckworth drives, and it goes. We're going to get a correction. going to say it hit a wire or pole or something. Oh, there, I couldn't exactly tell there. If we slow that replay down, you know, it looked kind of funny. Okay, watch it. Watch him penetrate here. It did kind of look funny. There it goes up. It hit the top of the basket. It hit the top of the basket and went in. I think the top of the basket is good. I don't think it hit a wire. I think it hit the top of the basket, which I think is good. Anyways, he makes his first free throw. Good replay, Scott. Well, we have a timeout here. We'll leave it here. It's an eight point lead. We're under a minute left.
There you see the score. And the Silver Lake Huddle, they're going to have to foul right away or get a steal. Double bonus situation for the Wombats, and they have been for about the last 12 minutes of regulation. So seven team fouls on the Wombats. On the floor for the Wombats, Brett Ebers, Quinton Bodine, Alex Strague, and then the two big fellas, Alex Antoni and Nate Circuitage. Nate Circuitage would probably be the guy, I know it sounds strange, but probably the guy you want to get the ball to. Six foot eight kids, made all his free throws, shot the technicals. Must be the guy that Coach Greenwood counts on for free throws. Here's the second of the free throws. 33.8 on the clock. Eight point game, second shot here. Uh, you're not missing free throws here. You want to get all the points you can. And he does. 26 points for Duckworth. And a trap and a timeout. Lakers wanted a tie up there, but quickly called timeout. I don't know what the timeout situation is now. But it's got to be winding down. I was counting the timeouts, but got away from me a little bit. As I mentioned before, the next game for UW Sheboygan here will be next week, Monday, when the Concordia JVs come here. It'll be a 6 o'clock ball game. We won't be here for that, but I believe we'll be out here the next week for a ball game. I think it's on, I don't remember, I think it's on the sixth. I'm not so sure. Quick foul. And this time they're going after Antoni. Alex has made all six of his free throws here in the second half. Just one of four in the first half, however. He steps up and bangs one home. I think the key here now is to get to uh, 78. If you get to 78, I think it's just about over. And there's nobody boxing out because Freddie Cook decided to run down the floor instead of rebound. And a poor choice by that young man. Number 23 from Flint, Michigan, Freddie Cook went off the block there, went up the floor assuming that the other guys were going to get the rebound and when the ball bounced oh, when the ball bounced away he bails out again but this time they get in two misses by Circuitage so 20 seconds left Drive penetration by Duckworth is up and good. 14 seconds left. Got a foul. They don't. There's a, no, there is a turnover. 76-70. Needs a three. It's going to be short. Big rebound. Four seconds left. Three seconds left. And this ball game is over with a Wombat victory. Woo, got a little tight there at the end. But in the end, it turned out to be a Wombat's victory. Wrap things up a little bit. Alex Antoni, 27 big points. Other players for the Wombats and double figures include Alex Stregg with 10. Nate Circuitage with 10. So three players in double figures. A very smart attacking job by the Wombats. Using their height advantage early in the game and then holding on for the 76-70 victory. With that, I'd like to thank the crew for coming out on a November Monday. My name is Chris Wright. We'll be back here in about two weeks. And as Marty says, we'll see you soon down the road.